Are these low profile socket adapters any good? Let's open them up and take a look. Hey, what's up YouTube, Down the Fix It Man. Got another quick video here for you. I just picked up these three different styles of socket adapters. Let's open each one of these up and take a look. This is the quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch drive socket adapters that allows you to use these in a ratcheting wrench, either a 10, 13, or a 19. Essentially, that will just convert these ratcheting wrenches into a low profile ratchet. I grabbed a handful of ratchets and set them out here so we can make some comparisons or take a couple measurements. But let's go ahead and open these up. Oh, I guess these are just rubber O-rings around there. I didn't realize that that was rubber. These are just some spare little rubber O-rings that fit in each one of those notches. Well, let's start with the half inch here. So the half inch drive also has a little thumb spinner on the back, which is nice, and a little press button detent release, just like you have on a regular ratchet. Now, of course, we'll just use the same socket when we do a comparison measurement here, but here's the 19 millimeter gear wrench. So this will just snap through. That's pretty nice. And you can see, wow, that is very low profile. Really not a lot of room for that thumb spinner on the back. It's almost flush with the head of this ratcheting wrench. And that is a gear wrench ratcheting wrench, which I thought would be a, a good one to use. But let's go ahead and just pop this socket in. So there you go converted a ratcheting wrench basically into a socket wrench or a regular ratchet. Let's see what the difference would be. Exactly two inches with the ratcheting wrench. Now let's compare that to a ratchet. This is the Coke NZ series. Really nice ratchet. Let's see what our difference is. 2.21, really not much. Not a huge difference there. I guess I didn't know what I was expecting. It really comes down to the thickness of the head of the ratchet compared to the thickness of the head of that ratcheting wrench. All right, let's take a look at the 3 8 drive. And this one goes in the 13 millimeter. Again, snaps right in, nice and easy. Not a lot of room to get on that thumb wheel, at least not with this particular gear wrench. You can see it really doesn't extend beyond the head of this ratcheting wrench. You would think that that would stick out maybe a little bit more, but uh, you know, you can get on it. It's just not really, not a whole lot of room. Now here, let's just grab another socket. This is not a really low profile socket. This is a 14 millimeter Craftsman. Now, of course, I've got some lower profile sockets over here too, but I just wanted to make sure that I use the same one when I do this measurement. Inch and a half, exactly. So we'll do the same comparison. I'm just gonna grab this Coke N ratchet that I use a lot here. Well, not much difference at all, 1.56. Let's just grab another brand. This is a Craftsman, just to see if there's much of a difference in the head size here. Yeah, a little bit of a difference, 1.6. So really not much difference with the 3 h drive. Let's take a look at the quarter inch drive here. This one, we're gonna be using the 10 millimeter gear wrench. Let's just snap that in. Now uh, this one's not wanting to fit through there for some reason. Let's try it this way. Oh, there we go. Okay, had to force that one a little bit. Just a quarter inch, eight millimeter socket here, 1.48 inches. And here's a gear inch, 90 tooth, little quarter inch drive ratchet. And see what the difference is. Huh, it's actually less, 1.37. The gear wrench ratchet is actually smaller than the gear wrench 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench with this adapter. So that's a little bit of a fail there. Well, moving on, let's take a look at these here. This is by this company, LA Bear. So let's take a look at these. You know, a lot of times when you're looking on Amazon, they'll say, hey, people also bought this or take a look at this one here too. So. I just thought it would be worth trying. So here they are. Now this is also driven by 19 millimeter. You can see that it's etched on there. Now this also has a little metal retaining ring I noticed. See right there, it's almost like a little metal snap ring rather than the rubber ring on the gear wrench. Yeah, this one's actually bigger, 2.1 inches, a little bit bigger than the gear wrench. Even though it doesn't have that spinner on the back, this button sticks out farther. So 2.1, and I believe this was 2.2 if I remember correctly. Let's just jump on that real quick. Right about 2.2, 2.21. Not a huge improvement with this half inch size. Still neat. I mean, this whole concept is pretty neat to be able to convert these ratcheting wrenches into socket wrenches or ratchets. But now here's the 3H drive. Again, this one is driven by a 13 millimeter. Let's see what the difference is with this one. There we go, right about 1.47. So maybe this one is even a little shallower than the gear wrench. But again, we throw that regular ratchet on there and we're at 1.56. So could be beneficial in a really tight access situation, but not a huge difference there. Here with the LA Bear, the quarter inch drive, this is also 10 millimeter. Here it is with that eight millimeter quarter inch drive socket, total depth of 1.38 inches. And with the gear wrench 90 tooth, we're at the same. 1.38 inches. No benefit, but at least we're not going backwards like we did with the gear wrench. And then just this bit adapter, which is basically the same. It fits in the 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench, converts this into a bit ratchet. 
Now here's just a little hex Milwaukee bit. If we were to put that one in there, we're at 1.13 inches. Now, if I take that same Milwaukee bit, this is my other alternative here. I have this little bit socket by Tecton and then use that with a 3H drive ratchet. That is gonna be a much longer reach of 2.38. So this one here is somewhat beneficial as far as the additional access that you can get if you're needing to use that. It has a little retention design inside. There's like a little metal spring that goes almost like in the shape of a U down on this little channel so you can see it does hold on to that which is nice because otherwise as far as access or clearance i mean you could just use a really small quarter inch ratcheting wrench on something like this it's just that it's not going to hold on to it so there is some benefit to this one by la bear this little bit socket there are some applications where i could have used this especially with putting on some of those cat shields where you know if you don't have a quarter inch ratcheting wrench it was really hard with the little special bits that they have to put those shields on so something like this would have worked or would have come in handy this last one here by Tone. This is Japanese company. Now this doesn't say made in Japan and a lot of people have pointed out that Tone tools, many of them are made in Taiwan and usually if the tool isn't stamped Japan or doesn't say made in Japan, it's usually made in Taiwan. Now by the way, the gear wrench is made in Taiwan and so is the LA Bear and I'm assuming that this one is also made in Taiwan since it doesn't say made in Japan on the tool. Let's see if I can open this one up without stabbing myself. Now the biggest difference here with this from Tone Japan is you don't have that ring around here, but it does have a little detent ball. It has a detent right here with a quick release on the back or a quick release button, but to hold this or retain this in the ratcheting wrench, it has a little detent ball here on the side. This is also going to go in a 13 millimeter. Looks good. Let's measure this one. We're at 1.47 we'll use that same ratchet here we already know what this is 1.56 1.57 so it is a little bit narrower just like the la bear was i mean the overall height i'm sure is really similar in design if you look at the two right next to each other so they're 0.92 inches and 0.92 inches. I mean, these are identical in overall length. Just the only difference is the design. This one here with the detent ball and this one with that clip or ring that retains it into the ratcheting wrench. Well, there it is. That's the last one by Tone Japan. And this one, I could only find the 3H drive. They might make a quarter inch and a half inch as well. Here they all are. This is the gear wrench, the LA Bear, and then this one from Tone. Now, are these a waste of money? Definitely not. They're not uh, a total gimmick because as you saw, there is some benefit in the half inch and 3H drive. Quarter inch, not so much. There's really not a big difference there. Is it beneficial even though it is a small amount? Yes, it is. And are there situations where you do need just that little bit of extra clearance? Yes, there are. So not a complete novelty or a total waste of money or anything like that. There's definitely some added benefit to something that even though it is just a very small amount, it is narrower. Now, I showed all of these with just standard depth sockets, but if you want to really step up the game, invest in some lower profile sockets because those are going to help you as well to get into some really tight areas and it's really hard to beat these astro tools with their dual drive or basically the hex drive on the outside where you can use this 17 millimeter box end ratcheting wrench or if i can get my hands on their version it's the long handled box end ratcheting wrench that also has a little detent or some sort of a clip on the inside that holds on to those so that's really going to be a huge benefit or a huge help my overall take on this yes it is a little bit of a novelty but there is some benefit now i know it wasn't a whole lot of clearance there in the half inch drive or the 3 h drive and a little bit of a fail when it came to that quarter inch i don't know if it's just because i had this really low profile gear wrench 90 tooth ratchet head but it was narrower than when combined with this 10 millimeter and the little adapter from gear wrench or the la bear really wasn't any better so kind of a fail on the quarter inch drive but when you're talking about 3 8 and half inch if it is even just a little bit better it's probably worth picking up it can really help you with today's engine bays getting tighter and tighter as far as clearance or access sometimes it is really hard to get to whatever part you're working on or whatever you need to access. Now, I know I'm just kind of rambling here, but that's one of the reasons that I've always purchased different socket sets over the years, just because you can get different heights with each one. For example, this one here, this is a Allied. That one right there is 1.09 inches. This is a Craftsman, 0.93 inches. And then this is that Koken low profile, 0.78 inches. That's where I see that these gear wrench and LA Bear and even this Tone will come in handy, although not so much the quarter inch size. I hope you like the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up these socket adapter sets along with some of these other tools you see as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.